Hi everyone, welcome to my tutorial. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell for more of my upcoming videos. This time, I will be showing you the solution on how to solve this problem. What is the specific weight of air at 485 kilopascal absolute in 25 degrees Celsius? The first thing we need to do is to identify our given. First, our absolute pressure is 485 kilopascal. Our temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. Our gas constant, denoted by R, is 287 joules by kilogram per degree Kelvin. What is required in this problem is our specific weight or unit weight. The formula we are going to use is specific weight, symbolized by small letter Y, is equal to density, symbolized by P, multiplied to acceleration due to gravity. The first thing we need to solve is the value for density. The formula to solve it is, density is equal to the quotient of pressure, all over the product of gas constant and temperature in Kelvin. Since we already have the values for our formula, we just direct substitute it. However, we need to convert first our given temperature of 25 degrees Celsius into Kelvin. So, we just simply add 273 to it. At the same time, we convert our 485 kilopascal into pascal using the conversion factor of 1000 pascal is equal to 1 kilopascal. Now, we have, 485 kilopascal multiplied to 1000 pascal all over 1 kilopascal, divided by, the product of gas constant, 287 joules per kilogram by degree Kelvin multiplied to the converted temperature of 25 degrees Celsius plus 273. We just solve it. Having, 485,000 pascal divided by 85,526 joules per kilogram. Since the unit for density is kilogram per cubic meter, we knew that joules is the same as pascal by cubic meter. With these, we can cancel out the pascal unit. We knew that 485,000 pascal divided by 85,526 pascal by cubic meter per kilogram is the same as solving 485,000 pascal multiplied to kilogram or 1 kilogram all over 85,526 pascal by cubic meter. We just get the product. And, our answer is 5.6708 kg per cubic meter. That is now the value for our density. With the solved value for density, we can now solve for our specific weight or unit weight. We just go back to our generic formula of specific weight, symbolized by small letter Y, is equal to density, symbolized by P, multiplied to acceleration due to gravity. Since we have the values for this already, we just direct substitute it. Having, 5.6708 kg by cubic meter multiplied to 9.81 meters per square second. We get the product. We now have 55.6305 kg by meter per cubic meter by square second. If you observe our unit, we can simplify this more. We knew that kilogram by meter per cubic meter by square second is the same as multiplying kilogram by meter per square second and 1 all over cubic meter. Also, kilogram by meter per square second is the same as Newton. With that, our final answer is 55.6305 Newton by cubic meter. That is now our answer for our specific weight or unit weight. Thank you for watching my tutorial. Before you exit, don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified for my upcoming videos.